Installing reporting services is kind of a two-step process, so we're going to have two lessons to do that. This is the first one. The first thing we'll do is install the reporting services code on the application server or servers where it's actually going to be running. In this environment, it's just going to be running on one server, SP App 2. So I'm going to run through the SQL installation program to load this code. There's no instance name and there are no service accounts to worry about during this phase. Everything to do with that will be done within central admin because reporting services is an integrated SharePoint service application so that's all done within SharePoint. So this installation is fairly easy. So I'll just go to the application server and I've pre-mounted the SQL installation program here so I'll run the setup program. If you've ever run the SQL server setup program before this will be extremely familiar to you. When I get to the installation center, I'll just click installation, new SQL Server standalone installation. The setup rules pass, so I click OK. You enter your product key next. I'll accept the license term, send feature usage next. Now here are a couple of product updates that are detected to be installed, so I'll go ahead and allow those to be installed during this installation. Now that those patches are installed, we get to the setup support rules. We do get a warning on Windows Firewall, but it really won't affect us in this installation since we're just installing the reporting services code and we don't have to make firewall changes for that. So we'll click Next, and we will be doing a SQL Server feature installation with just a one feature. It will not take very long. So reporting services for SharePoint mode is a shared feature now. If we were installing native, that would be an instance feature, but this is just a shared feature, so it's just some code that's being put on the disk. Also choose the add-in for SharePoint products. The recommendation is to install the add-in on all the servers. This add-in installs things like web parts that run on web front ends, as well as the configuration code that runs within central admin. So it's a very good idea to go ahead and install this on all of your SharePoint servers so that if one of them is going to become a web server in the future or will run central admin, that these components will already be there. So I'm going to click on both of those and click Next. And then from here, just approve all of the buttons all the way through Finish and let it install the software. Okay, the installer is finished. It hasn't actually configured anything. This is much like when SharePoint's installed in the first place where we just lay down the code onto the disk and then configure it later is very very similar so this is done uh, I do get a message here that I have a, a restart pending so I'm gonna go ahead and do that but at the next lesson we will go into SharePoint um, install a couple more things and then configure reporting services so that it's up and running in our environment